Investigating an epidemic of deaths among the world's leading scientists, Bill Graham learned their terrible discovery. Earth was, and had been for centuries, controlled by aliens. Hello and welcome to Liam's Lyceum. I am your host, Liam, aka Ambar, and today I'll be doing a spoiler-free review of Eric Frank Russell's Sinister Barrier. Sinister Barrier is a standalone sci-fi novel by Eric Frank Russell. It is actually originally founded on pages 9 to 94 in the first issue of Unknown, which came out in 1939, though it was published separately in 1943 and then expanded in the U.S. publication in 1948. Um, there is a fun epigraph, actually, at the start. I'm not sure if it was an actual daily of which Russell got his inspiration or part of the narrative, uh, but I wouldn't be surprised, actually. Um, what's interesting about this novel is that uh, it starts with May 17th, 2015, and certain scholars around the world seem to have come to this great knowledge before any can impart it to another, or they keel over and die. So Bill Graham witnesses the death of one Professor Mayo. He is a protagonist in, uh, Graham is a protagonist in charge of investigating these deaths. It's very much what we call sci-fi, though I believe the mystery elements is what kept it from Astounding, uh, which is the other magazine um, published, what's well, a sister magazine of Unknown. Anyways, the sci-fi feels, or comes in rather with the flying cars in chapter two and in chapter five and six, I honestly got creeped out though. Um, the language of Russell is expertly crafted um, as well. Um, there, there are some other things though. There, for example, I mentioned the Silver City in Idaho, which is actually a ghost town today. And there is some definitely Orientalism and, uh, well, other racism present, um, at least in the original unknown version. If you get the novelized version of it, uh, a lot of that stuff has been edited out, thank goodness, because it's pretty, it's pretty out there by today's standards. Um, <laughs> um, even though Russell was a Brit, if I'm remembering correctly. My notes are all over the place for this, by the way. I was originally going to be doing a series of um, discussions on Unknown Magazine uh, Chris Ferracchio, actually, but um, that that kind of fell apart, so we're not doing that, but these are my notes from when I was originally reading the magazine for that, so anyways, we have this interesting thing uh, that is, we have a U.S. intelligence service um, you know, the CIA was founded after World War II, but they're basically just, you know, the CIA. Um, also, in 2015, they used the Battleship Arizona because <laughs> Pearl Harbor had not occurred when this book was written. Uh, I wonder, actually, I didn't catch to see if that part had been edited out in the edited versions, which would have been after the Arizona had been sank or sunk, rather, sorry. Um, it does uh, mention real-life weird incidents, but they all obviously only go up to, like, 1939, since this book takes place in 2015, but it was only written in 1939. Um, like, the ben Benjamin Bathurst uh, was one I even read about in A Toy for Juliet by Robert Bloke in uh, Dangerous Visions Anthology, even. But there's a lot of actual historical things that are cited, you know, like with footnotes. Uh, it was fun enough, honestly. It was fine. Uh, there are some, again, blatantly racist parts in the original comparing blacks to animals, even. But uh, the copy I got later, again, does not have these. Um, and there is, there is really, there's a really good opening to Chapter 5. I just wanted to share real quick. It's, uh, the path was a crazy snake, modeled in the moonlight, twisting and turning as it crawled upward, ever upward. Graham ducked into the shadow of a natural obelisk that poised at one side of the track. The bilious moon spewed its beams over sullen rocks and musing pines, illuminating the rough landscape in pale ghastliness. I know there's something about that alliteration in the imagery. And also we have this interesting idea of aliens uh, that are too alien. And a lot of um, sci-fi today, you have aliens that you can connect to. Um, not not entirely, right? But there's there's it's decently common. Uh, and this is definitely more of a, we can't find anything common with these aliens. They're just way too far away from us. There is, you know, nothing that will permit any sort of understanding uh, so anyways uh, this was a decently interesting novel again i like reading older stuff anyways so um and this was was not bad i mean like i was entertained enough so um anyways let me know if you all read it anyways i'll catch you next time